My Hebrew brothers and sisters, 12 tribes of Israel scattered all over the earth. Let me take this moment to say Shabbat Shalom. And we trust that you are starting out your Shabbat well. And that you're going to have a great time in Yahuwah. Praise his name. Praise his name. My brothers and my sisters, a lot of things are happening all over the world all over the world but let me say this we are not going to allow anything to hinder us from giving the praises the adoration and all that is due to our Yahuwah praise his name praise his name for his love my friends when I think about his great love how he sent his only begotten son, Yahushua, to come to this earth to redeem us from the curses of the, of the law of sin and death. And we just praise him to know that tonight, my brothers and my sisters, we can celebrate Yahuwah. We can celebrate him for his love, for his mercies, all his kindness towards us, my brothers and sisters. And we just want to thank him for his only begotten son, Yehoshua. He said he came not but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Praise his holy name. Praise his name. And we thank Yahuwah that he made us a part of that. Praise his name. So Yehoshua came to give his life a ransom for many, for many of us. Uh, my brothers and sisters, we're scattered all over the place. All over the earth we, we are. And let me say this. Yahuwah loves us to that point where he want to give himself for us. Praise his holy name. My brothers and my sisters, we cannot pay him back for all the things that he has done for us. For the things that he is doing in our lives and the things that he's going to do. We give him honor and praise and glory. We lift him up, my brothers and my sisters. I hope you are lifting him up. I hope you are adoring him, my brothers. He said, exalt him. Praise his name. He said, if, he's been, if he's, he is lifted up, he will draw all men to him. My brothers and my sisters, not only that he lifted up on the tree, but we have to lift him up in our hearts, lift him up to the world. Let him see the Yahuwah who loves us so much to have done so much for us. Praise his name. Tonight for our Shabbat meditation, we're going to talk a, a little bit on that Yahuwah is Yahuwah through time and eternity. Through time and eternity. He is Yahuwah now. He was Yahuwah yesterday, he's Yahuwah now, and he's going to be Yahuwah tomorrow. Praise his name, my brothers and my sisters. So look, look in Psalm 90, Psalm 90, 90. And um, this psalm, it is listed as a, as a psalm of Moshe. But we, we're, going to, we're going to title this, Yahuwah is Yahuwah for time and eternity. Psalm 90, verses 1 and 2. We're not going to have time to go through more than, more than um, Psalm verses 1 and 2. Okay. Psalm 90, verses 1 and 2. Now, my brothers and my sisters, I'm, I'm going to give you an exercise. I'm going to give you an exercise, if it's possible, from where you are. From where you are. I, if, 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 you are if you can look through your window, I don't know, it might be dark. And so, I may be still light where you are. But if you can look through your window or through your door or stand on your porch or wherever, and even sometime in the night you can see mountains, right? And just look around you for just a, a brief moment. Look around. Just, just have a, per, like a, a per, per, per manic, per, you know, view, um, you know, of, of, of how things are around you, like you're standing, like where I am, you know, I'm looking through my window, but when I look all the way around me, 
as I look around and I turn and I look around, right? Like I'm in, it's like I'm in a valley and then we have mountains. All I can see around me right now is mountains. I look north, I look south, I look east, I look west. It's mountain, right? A lot of trees, very green and, and you know, and mountains, tall mountains, okay? Now, in the nighttime, some of those mountains uh, are, are even on the mountain peaks, sometimes you could see light. That means people living in those areas. Um, when I was driving truck, I used, I used to see a lot of mountains, especially when I go through Tennessee, uh, some part of North Carolina. And then when you up into the, uh, there's a section they call the Rockies, when you go up into like Vermont and, um, and you know, like in, 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 in Washington State, uh, you know, those places, you know, Idaho and all those places, you know, the huge mountains, huge mountains. And sometimes they, they, like the road just cut between the mountains and you're going through and, and you can, you're going through some part of Nevada, you're going through and it's just nothing but mountains, okay? And, um, you know, Colorado and those places, okay? Mountains, mountains, just mountains. And I think about this verse here. This is what it says. Yahuwah, thou hast been our dwelling place, our dwelling place in all generations. So in all of our generations, my brothers and sisters, in all of our generations, all of our, from Abraham, okay, come down to Isaac and Yitzhak, come down to Jacob or Jacob, and to his 12 sons. And then all the people that descended after them who are our ancestors also. We are descendants of those people. And in all of the generations, in all of my brothers and sisters, in all of the generations, Yahuwah has been our dwelling place. He has been, my brothers and sisters, if you, in your lifetime, if you were to pay someone to watch over you, if you were to pay someone to feed you, if you were to pay someone to give you clothing, if you were to pay someone to take you to the hospital when you're sick, because many times we're sick and we don't go to the hospital, right? We just depend on him for healing. But if you get sick and you're really sick, you need to go to the doctor. So doctor the doctors are there to, to, to test us and to tell us you know, what's going on. Okay? So I'm not telling you that you're not to go to the doctor. Don't ever go say, you know, more issues and don't go to the doctor. No, please, by all means, you go to the doctor and get check up and, and get the medical help that you need. But it's in all generations, Yahuwah has been our dwelling place. We reside in him. We trust him. My brothers and my sisters, he has been everything. He has been our protector. He has been everything. Positive in our lives, my brothers and my sisters. In our lives, I went our backs were against the wall and we have nowhere to turn. Yahuwah was there. This is what, this is what he said here. The reason why I asked you to look at the mountains is to see how the mountains are formed, okay? You see the mountains formed. This is how they, they go up and they come down and they come down and they go up again and and then when you look at one mountain here, here's a mountain, then here's another mountain higher than that. 
There's another mountain higher than that. I, I mean, it's just amazing to see how the mountains are formed. Beautiful. And he said, before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world. Before, my brothers and sisters, before the mountains were brought forth. We know, we know in, in, in Genesis, right, he talks about in the beginning, Yahuwah created the heaven and the earth. Okay now, and, you, and he goes on and he shows you each day what he did in each day of his creative act. So we have no doubt that Yahuwah is the one who did all of this. He created everything that we can see with our eyes. Some things we haven't seen them yet, but he created them. I, 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 I give, um, one day I was talking to this Christian you know, brother, and since then I, I used that self many many times I use it as um as a reference. So he was talking about evolution and you were talking about he was downing the um you know the, the scientists and all that and so on and so on and so on. Because he doesn't believe in science and all that. So he, he wanna know how I think, how I feel. And I said, well, to be honest with you, I am a Creative evolutionist. What? Yeah, I almost knocked him down with my, my statement. He couldn't believe it. It, 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 start, it start, I said, okay, all right. What? And you say you're Christian? I said, yeah. And I said, I want to explain something to you. And I'm going to give you an illustration and I want you to, to think about this. All right. And I use the illustration of things appearing now that no eyes have seen before. But Yahuwah created it. So I said, okay, get you a parcel of land or just think of, of, of the road, the highway. When you go on the highway, all you see is the asphalt, right? If the road is paved, asphalt. I said, close that area where vehicles run on every day, every moment, whatever. Close it down. Detour the traffic from that and make that area stay for six months or so. Or less. No traffic is going there. Mark, you're looking at stones, you know, sand and asphalt mixed together. So the place is just dry. All you can see there is just asphalt. But you leave it alone for a period of time. No traffic, no foot, nobody walking there, you just stay there. In three or more months, and probably even less than that, you go back and look at that, pl that place and you see little grass, like, you know, grass or shrubbery or something, or little trees, you know, growing there. It wasn't there when the truck was driving, wasn't it? When, when traffic was going over that, it was not there. Then who created it? Yahuwah. He created from before, this one he said, even before the mountains were brought forth, or even thou hast formed the earth 
and the world. From even from everlasting to everlasting. From eternity to eternity. Thou art Elohim, thou art Yahuwah. Yahuwah, he created it. He is the one who do, do all of that. A matter of fact, if you leave it long enough, you, you go back there, you're going to see um, trees growing up. <laughs> you're going to see trees growing up into, into, um, into, into, into the spot. It's like, it's like starting a house. And you, you fill it with sand and all kind of stuff, and, but you did not continue to, to build, you know, to finish complete the house. And a couple months later, it's filled with weeds. But when you were putting down the, 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 the sand and the gravel and the dirt, it's just, just dirt. You didn't put no, 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 no. But you see what happened? In those earth, in those even in the asphalt, my brothers and my sisters, germination. Even though the, the asphalt is hot, it is hot. It's like it's like in the volcanic, um, you know, activities. After the volcanic stop running for a couple of months, you go there. And the same place where you see the, the hot lava breaking down, burning trees by the root, you go back there and you'll see all you see is little weeds growing up, trees growing up, and things like that. My brothers and sisters, this is the Yahuwah. This is the Yahuwah that we serve. He said, Thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations, not just for a short duration of time. In all generations. My brother, if it takes another 10, 15, 20 generations to come by before Yahuwah come and reclaim this earth and, and, and give us this new place, new heaven and new earth. If it takes that long, he is still going to be our dwelling place. I pass away and another generation come. He is our dwelling place. But spiritually, we have to make him our dwelling place, not just physically. I hope you have made him your dwelling place in a spiritual sense. He said, even, he said, before the mountains, even you look up there, my brothers, and look at the mountains, you see all those things. <laughs> you and I he couldn't create them. Okay, we couldn't make those mountains. Okay? We can make a little pile of dirt, you know, and plant grass on them and it look like a little mountain. <laughs> but that, not, not those mountains up there with those big trees and rocks. You know? We can create we can create a mountain by piling, you know, dirt and sand and stuff up there. Yeah, you know? And we can pick up a couple of rocks and put up there, you know. And, and put some grass around it and all that. You know, so we say, well, that's the mountain that Yahushua made. <laughs> this is the mountain that Yahushua made. No, my brother, we're not talking about this kind of mountain. We're talking about the mountain that Yahushua made. He said, before, even before, even before the mountains were brought forth, and even though us formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art Yahuwah. Praise his holy name. My brothers and sisters, I am telling you that Yahuwah is so awesome. He is so awesome, my brothers and sisters. And he wants us 
to come to that place in our lives where we acknowledge him. Is he your dwelling place? If he is not your dwelling place, my brothers and sisters, then you need to make him your dwelling place. Make a home your dwelling place. This is what he said. Thou hast been our dwelling place. The Hebrew Israelite people, the Hebrew Israelite people, praise be to Yahweh. We have a dwelling place. Isn't that a place just where you go and shelter overnight? It's a dwelling, but it's not the kind of dwelling that Yahweh is talking about. Because even though we have a place where we shelter, and we consider our dwelling, my brothers and sisters, even though we consider that, Yahuwah still watches over us and keep us. We're going to ask you, my brothers and sisters, to be a blessing to someone today and walk with the King. Shalom.